Hey everyone, it's Victoria and today I have a makeup tutorial for you. I'm going to recreate my favorite Instagram filter using makeup but before I start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button. Thank you! Hi guys, so my skin has been really dry lately. I want a nice canvas to copy this look. I'll start off by refreshing my face with rose water mist before putting anything onto my face. I'm doing this because creams and serums are better absorbed when the skin is moist. Now I'm gonna move on to my moisturizer. I'm using this one from Kiehl's. I'll just use my clean hands to gently massage it all over my face. That feels good. Next, I'll use this one from Laura Mercier as my primer. Now to brighten my skin, I'm just going to add a strobe cream at the high points of my face to add a little glow. For foundation, I'm going to use this Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> For application, I'm using a small brush to reach those small areas of my face. I am using this one from Zoeva. It's the Face Shape Brush 110. Now moving on to my concealer, I'm using this one from Maybelline Fit Me. I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes and cover some of my blemishes. I'm just going to gently blend that out using an eyeshadow blending brush. Now I'm going to set everything with a loose powder. I'm using this one from Laura Mercier. Always remember, any emollient texture we put on our face will move and crease, so a light dust of powder will prevent that from happening. Since my face is so flat and lifeless, I'm just going to add some shading to create structures and dimensions. So I'm just going to place that underneath my cheekbones and other areas that I want to be defined and look slimmer. And after this, I'm just going to blend it out to avoid harsh line and make it more natural. To contour the nose, I usually begin at the brow bone area and bringing down the color downwards. For highlighter, I'm just going to use my old palette from Makeup Revolution. As you can see from the photo we're trying to copy, the highlighting game is so bright, brighter than my feature. Not a huge fan of highlighters, but I'm just going to add more to achieve that glow. Now moving on to my favorite part, the eyes. Here I'm just using the same as what I use as concealer and I'm just going to blend it out to have a very nice canvas for our eye makeup. Next I'll be using the three matte shades from the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. I'll start with a shade blur to apply it all over my lid. Next, I mix the shade Bucked and Boundaries to contour my eyes. To intensify the eyes, I'm going to use this cream eyeliner from L'Oreal. As you can see, the main focus of this look is the intense wing eyeliner. So I'm just going to start at the outer sides of my eyes and create a wing and work my way in.
Now I'll just give my lashes a nice curl and proceed to lashes. It's time for our brows. I'll just leave my brows slick natural, so I'm just going to fill that in with an eyebrow pencil from K Palette. Okay, don't forget this part. Always blend with a spoolie. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little pop of color using this blush from MAC in the shade BG Keen. So I'm just going back to the eyes. I'm mixing the shade Buck and Boundaries again to shadow the lower lash line and finish up with a mascara. So to finish up the look, I'll mix these two matte lip creams from Oprah and Maybelline. So we're trying to achieve a stained lip color effect. I'm just going to smudge my lips with a clean blending brush. So for the final step, I'm going to add this highlighter at the inner corner of my eyes. We're finished guys! Back Aura! I think this look is very easy to do and very wearable, so I hope you try it. But that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys. See you on my next video.